There we go. Now the red light's on. Yeah, just been sitting here talking to myself for like five minutes without recording, so that's cool. Um, hmm. There we go. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine. I do some fashion and makeup and lifestyle kind of videos, and today I'll be featuring the Melt Muerte pal palette, and I'm going to do my New Year's Eve look, even though um, I'm staying home this year, and uh, we're probably going to play Uno and Pictionary, but I'm going to have beautiful makeup on my face, so there's that. Um, we're going to begin a makeup look with this palette. I have used this palette before. I'm not sure if I did in a video or not, because to be honest, this palette, it's a little intimidating for me. It's really deep, rich, gorgeous colors, and um, I'm gonna see what I can come up with. I want it, would like to use some of the burgundies and some of this gorgeous uh, shimmery blue color called Katrina. It is gorgeous. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. I already have all of my base makeup on, so let's hope that the fallout is minimal because uh, I don't wanna have to do my face all over again. I have my brows on, so what we're gonna focus on is the eyes and the lip today's in today's video. So we're gonna start right in with a color called Sangre. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I, I very much could be butchering it, but it is a beautiful wine color. So I'm gonna tap into that with my Morphe R35 and kind of tap off the excess a little bit. And we're gonna go right into the crease that color and really I'm just kind of tapping and laying in that color in the crease and I will worry about blending that out in a little bit we're going to go all the way over to the inner corner with that color taking a little bit at a time these are really really beautifully pigmented shadows and uh, I like to go with a kind of a smaller brush and a little bit at a time so that we're not getting it completely all over the place and again not a professional I just really really love makeup and I love playing with makeup so that's what I do. I just happen to do it on camera. I did prime my lids with the LA Girl colored primer stick. I love that thing. Um, the times that I have used it, I've tried to pay attention because I've been using it for several months now to whether it actually makes my shadows last longer. And to be honest, I think it does. It also seems to help with creasing, which nobody wants to spend all that time on your beautiful shadow and then have it crease up. So again, just going kind of in a rainbow pattern from the inner corner through the crease and all the way out to the outer corner with that shade. And then we will worry about blending it out in a few minutes so yeah this is one of those looks that is probably gonna look absolutely insane until the very end so bear with me and uh, hopefully we'll get that figured out I'm switching to a smaller brush is more dense it's the R41 by Morphe I'll be using all Morphe brushes today they're clean and they're here so again just building up that color and I thought that this smaller brush would fit much better into the inner corner without getting it everywhere. So, tell me down below, because this will be going up after New Year's Eve, of course. I'm filming it on New Year's Eve day. Um, what your plans were. What did you do that was fun? I will live vicariously through you. 
My one daughter is going to be home with us tonight, and the other one is already out. Um, she had a party to go to at a friend's house, so she went early, I believe, to help her set up and things like that. I'm sure she will text me at midnight. As I've mentioned before, I'm very, very close with both of my daughters. We talk all the time. It is a terrible night out, too. Terrible day, I should say. And I think it's going to get better. It's very, very windy, and it's snowing here in PA. So, yeah, I'm glad that my daughter's going to one place and staying put. Um, we, we definitely uh, know in our family if you are going to partake of the uh, alcoholic beverages, you need to stay put or have a designated driver. That's just, uh, that's what I've taught them. They know not to uh, ever drink and drive. So she's just gonna stay where she is. Now I'm gonna take uh, a predominantly clean brush it's the first one that I used. It is a little fluffy, um, the R35, and I'm just gonna go around the edges of that and kind of blend them, make them look a little softer. Just on the edges of it, though. I want that pigmentation in the crease. I want it to be darker. But out here, I would like it to be a nice, soft transition. There is no real, I don't know, blending color. I usually like to have, you know, maybe a softer version of this color or perhaps a, a pink, something lighter. But this, this palette has very rich dark colors. We are just going to work with it. We're going to go with it. So what I would like to do on the lid is apply this gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And there is also a gold shimmer and possibly very very gorgeous green but we're gonna see what the blue looks like on the lid itself usually I use my finger for this I can try taking a flat brush and see how it applies with that sometimes I have better luck with my finger so this is the M224 it's a nice flat brush and I will try taking some of the blue let's see what it does applied wow that is pigmented Woo! Let's see how it applies with a dry brush. Let's hope it doesn't fall all over my face. Because that would be really be terrible. Wow. That is stunning. That blue is beautiful. And that was one little dip into the pan. It's a very soft color. So again, I kind of tapped off some of the excess and I'm kind of patting it onto the lid. Patting and dragging. I'm not gonna go fully on the lid because I like that darker color on the edges. I'm gonna keep it kind of in the center. And then I may apply a glitter or something on top of that, I'm not sure. Let's see what it looks like if I use my finger. Sometimes it's just better and easier to use the tools God gave you. Fingers, hands. Wow, that is just very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. I really like Melt's uh, Shimmer Formula. I have their um, Gemini palette and their Smoke Sessions palette as well. I would like the Vita palette that came with, well, it was released at the same time as the Muerte palette, and um, I just haven't gotten it yet, but uh, I intend to. Let's take that fluffy brush again, teeny tiny bit of the Sangre on it, just to make sure we've got that crease the color that I want it. I want it to be nice and deep. Switching back to the smaller brush, the R41, same thing, teeny tiny bit of that. The inner corner. 
What I don't want is for it to look like I got punched in the face and it's starting to look a little bruise-ish. I want to take this darker color and let's see what that looks like in the outer V. It's a little deeper than Sangre. It's called Valorio and it is a super, super dark kind of wine color. Definitely blend that out a bit. My fluffier brush here in a second. It is a very, very dark shade. Once again, taking the same gray, pop it around the crease, and deepen up that inner corner with the same gray. Not the darkest line but the next one right next to it. I will probably be putting a spotlight color on the inner corner because I just like how that looks. Fluffy brush again. Nothing on it this time. I made, to, made sure to wipe it in my um, color switch really nicely so there's nothing on that brush and just kind of soften up the very edge of that. The thing about eyeshadows is, and all makeup really, um, it washes off, so there's really nothing to be afraid of. If it doesn't work out, it's not the best look you ever did, oh well. It's okay. It's just makeup. And you can wash it off. You could start over if you need to. It's just makeup. I think that is about where I would like it. So, we'll build up that blue shade just a little bit more. And I want to add that gold to the very, very center. I'm a little afraid, I gotta tell ya. I'm a little afraid. I'm gonna try it. Just see what it looks like. Just in the very, very center. For a little bit of sparkle. I kind of like it. I'm not sure if I love it, but I kind of like it. I think it's going to catch the light really pretty. Just kind of like a topper shade. I almost won't notice it until I turn my head a certain way and then you'll see it. So I kind of like that. It's a little bit of a surprise right there in the center. And I think that is where I'm going to stop with that. And I'm going to find a nice flat brush for my lower lash line. Let's see. I should have laid it out. I did not. My bad. But I know I have one. It's just a matter of finding it. Sorry about the noise. ASMR. will be great. The M410. Nice skinny flat brush. Good for the lower lash line. And we're going to go with the darkest color first. That's Valorio. And I'm going to dip it in very lightly. Just on the edge. And I'm going to tap that on the lower lash line. As close to the lashes as I can get it. And yes I do Hold down a tiny bit. I'm very gentle, very gentle, but I do pull my eye down just a tiny bit to make sure I'm getting it right where I want it. We will blend out with a lighter color. So I'll do both eyes with that. To be honest, I'm not sure if I am that impressed with the blue shade. It doesn't look nearly as pretty as it does in the pan and I'm not sure why. It just doesn't look as sparkly as it does in the pan. The pan it looks so beautiful. It's this gorgeous kind of navy blue. It 
translates to the eye a little darker than that. But it's not that I don't like it. I still like it. I just... This is a clean brush. Nothing, no extra product on it. I'm just going to blend out that lower lash line a little bit. I promise it will all come together in the end. I knew it was going to be very bold. It's New Year's Eve. If you can't be bold any other time, you can be on New Year's Eve. That's that's just that's just the rule. That's how that goes. All right. Now, take a tiny pencil brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of this gold, the Calica. It's Calica or Calica. I'm not sure how to say that. But it is the gold in the palette. I'm going to spray it with my setting spray, my Urban Decay All Nighter. I can spray with anything so it'll be nice and metallic. I like my inner corners to really pop, so. I could also use I like to focus when I have a brush practically in my eyeball. So, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't talk much when I'm applying my inner corners, I guess. I've never noticed that before. I wish I could turn the camera so that you could see the snow that is coming down outside. It is beautiful, heavy snow. Uh, my parents are leaving for Florida early, early tomorrow morning. So we are supposed to go to their house tonight. It's a good thing we have a four-wheel drive vehicle, is all I can say. That is a lot of snow coming down out there. All right, so I did the inner corner. I'm gonna do a tiny, tiny little bit on my brow bone of that same shade. But you could also use the highlighter that you used on your face. Today I used Urban Decay's Sin highlighter. Um, this is a little brighter, so I decided to use it right out of the palette. It's a pretty gold shimmer, so I think that works. And for the waterline, lower waterline, I'm debating on two shades. Um, they're both by Melt. One is called Neptune, and it's a very sparkly, gorgeous um, cobalt blue. Very pretty. And the other one is called... Lamia or Lamia and it's more of a dark dark burgundy color so I think I might like the, the pop of blue to add to um, the blue that we have going on the lid so we're going to use Neptune on the waterline it has tiny tiny shimmer, shimmer in it I like Melt's uh, eyeliners for the waterline. They really stay in place. Once they dry down, they will stay there all night. And they're very creamy. They do not bother my eyes at all. I've had no problems. They are a sharpenable pencil, which is usually not my preferred method, but these last so long in the uh, eyes that I don't mind. Okay, so uh, the last few things I'm going to do are to tight line the upper lid. And I usually use the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. It isn't black, I also have a brown. It's just the tiniest, tiniest point you could possibly get. And it does not irritate my eyes as I do this. I'm going to tight line my upper uh, lid. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, then look away now, please. This tends to make your lashes look nice and full and honestly now it's a habit like I don't feel like my look is complete without doing the, the uh, lash line because a lot of times I don't want a wing and I don't really want uh, or find it necessary to add a liquid liner to the top 
um, especially because I don't wear lashes very much. A lot of people do the liner on the top lid um, to kind of hide their lash band, but even tonight, I'm not putting on uh, the false lashes tonight. I need to find a brand that doesn't irritate my eyes. I have tried all of the lash glues from the drugstore. They all make my eyes very, very itchy and irritated, and the lashes themselves I just can't seem to get them to fit correctly on my eyes. They're always popping up on the inner corner or the outer corner. It's just not worth the trouble for me. I've found some very good mascaras that I love and I think my lashes look fine with just the mascara so that's where we're going at next. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the curl my eyelashes and add the mascara and probably do a little something with this mess. Um, of my hair and I will be right back so see you in a second okay and I'm back we've got uh, lashes done I used the benefit they're real mascara and black on the top and then Maybelline snapscara it's a really pretty color it's called um, black cherry yes black cherry it's a very, very deep wine color, and I use that on the lower lash line. I've been really liking using the colored um, mascara on the lower lash line. I think it just gives it a cool, different kind of look, and you really can't tell until you get pretty close to me that the lower lash line is a softer color than black, but I think it makes a difference. So I do it because I like it, and that's what you should do. You should do your makeup the way that you like to do your makeup. So we still have lips to go, and I'm going to start off with the Buxom Plumping Lip Liner in Dolly Danger. It is one of my favorite lip liners. I'm going to overline my lips a tiny bit and then fill them in with this color. They say that they're plumping. I'm not sure I notice any uh, plumping on the lips and there's no like tingle or minty kind of uh, thing going on with those but I just really like them. The size of the pencil makes it so easy if you like to fill in your lips with the lip liner and they're very creamy and movable. I really like those those buxom lip liners. Okay and then the color I chose for the lips today is from Anastasia and it is called Lychee and it is a matte lipstick. It is a really pretty, um, I'm not sure if it'll focus on it, but it's a really pretty mauve color and it has specks of glitter in it. I think it's so pretty. It's one of their little mini sets. I got it this um, with three other colors and it was fairly affordable. I think it was $25 for four different shades. I will say it's a very comfortable lipstick to wear. It's not very drying. It You can see the glitter in it and you can feel it a tiny bit. So if that feeling of the glitter on your lips bothers you, you may not like that one. Um, I like a glittery, glossy lip, especially for you know an event or an occasion like New Year's Eve. Um, so I'm gonna add some gloss to that. This is the Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss and it is so beautiful it has these gold reflex in it it is stunning so we're going to add that on top i really like that color it is so pretty and so shiny i love it and it does it doesn't feel sticky um it feels more um, oily than sticky because i'm not a huge fan of sticky glosses so um, that one doesn't feel sticky at all it just feels kind of slidey I can still feel the glitter on the lips but I mean it doesn't bother me for as beautiful as that gloss is I can put up with a little bit of like tiny micro glitter on my lips so yeah that's the finished look for today this is my New Year's look you can um, go ahead and if you want it to be even more bold you could add some glitter on top of that really easily. Just put down a little bit of glitter glue and then you could add some loose glitter on top and it would be over the top, dramatic, beautiful for New Year's Eve. I am gonna go ahead and spray with setting spray 
This is the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice scent. If you really need your makeup to last all night, I highly recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, it really does make your makeup last all night. It won't budge. So, and that scent I really like. I hope that they would keep it in their line. I'm not sure it's still available though. It obviously came out in the summertime. Hence the name, Summer Solstice. Let that dry a little bit. And there we go. I put a little curl in my hair. And I think we're ready to roll. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, if you like videos like this, kind of chatty, get ready with me. Um, I can show you how I do my makeup. I'm not, again, a makeup artist. I didn't go to school for that. I would never claimed to be. This is just how I like to play with my makeup. So if you'd like to join me again, please go ahead and subscribe. It would make my year if you subscribed. And also, if you click that bell, it'll notify you of any uh, future uploads that I put up. And um, I'm trying to get brave enough to start some vlogging of my regular everyday life. It's just, I'm not sure that my life is like interesting enough for people to want to watch. Um, I am a substitute teacher and I work at schools and I come home and um, spend time with my family. There's not a whole lot going on there, but um, I, I'm going to try and give it a try. Maybe we'll do some cooking videos and some new things in the new year. I hope wherever you are today, you are happy and healthy and you have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a happy new year. Uh, I love you all and thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!